Hello, everyone. We are Sam, Kirsten, Henrik, Oleg, and Veronica. We are here to show you our contribution to the beating heart of LMBS in developing a tribe of students. And here's what we did. We did a flash mob in a few postgraduate classes in order to inform the students of the Beating Hearts event. The Beating Hearts of LMBS will take place at the Rocket Bar in Holloway Road on the 8th of December at 7. We wanted to emphasize the networking aspects of the event, coming across as professional and in a way tactical. During the event, the students will be able to experience drumming in a new and unexpected way. And in order to set in motion our flash mob, we obtained a timetable of postgraduate classes and lecturers, and we agreed with them on when we could come and present to their classes. We also obtained the flyers from the event for, from the flyers group so that we could hand them to the students during our presentation. So we will now show you some footage from our presentation, and I hope you will enjoy it. taking an elective in live media and events management and marketing. And taking this uh, class, this uh, event elective class, has made us realise how cool it is to kind of meet people from outside of just this, this Masters um, and talk with other people from London Met Business School um, and people doing different, different degrees. Uh, but so far there haven't really been any chances to meet people from other um, MA courses. <laughs> so uh, the Beating Heart event is a free event taking place on December 8th, Thursday, uh, and it will be in the Rocket. It will be particularly interesting if you want to network with different people in the business school. Uh, and yeah, it'll be a really fun event. And uh, you always, you know, you always tell us not what you know, it's who you know, and you never know my company, so we're not going to give you uh, a job or opportunity for the future. So on to the actual event. It's about drumming, so that's why I have this prop in front of me. Partially about drumming. There's going to be a performance by Bass Tone Slap is their name. Uh, they were actually on Dragon's Den, and they were really successful in that. And they're going to do an interactive performance, and then there's going to be a drum battle. So they're bringing in a bunch of drums, and then people can compete. They'll guide you on what to do. And, uh, um, naturally, as I said, Rocket is free to get in. It's a free event. You can bring whatever you like um, to the guests that you want. Drinks are cheap. Um, and it's going to be a relaxed, comfortable, and hopefully entertaining uh, environment. Um, and like, like I said before, you can uh, meet people in that kind of environment. So, before everyone goes home for Christmas, we hope that you stop by this event. Veronica's going to hand out some flyers here. Uh, there's also a Facebook page um, for the event, so I'll um, try to invite all of you to that. And we hope to see you then, and remember to bring your business cards, everyone. <laughs> it's our whole class has organized it, and so because it's a marketing class, we thought the best way to get the message out was actually to go class by class and tell people about it. So. We now want to explain how we interpreted the experience economy through our flash mob. Our aim was to emphasize on the positive social aspects of our presence within the class as a group in a way that enhanced the sense of being part of a group of people, a feeling of group belongingness. We focused on several aspects of our face-to-face -face interaction, such as non-verbal communication, spontaneous interaction, informal and physical presence, in order to promote a sense of community. Why did we focus on these aspects? Because we wanted to emphasize on the sense of being connected 
uh, with our presence and the whole class's presence interpreted as a social presence, as in the feeling of being involved, absorbed or engaged. The term connectedness has been used in fairly recent studies in relation to the new wave of social media, but it can be used more in general to indicate involvement. The term also includes effective benefits such as stronger group interaction, a feeling of staying in touch, a sense of sharing, belonging, intimacy. Our activity can be, in a way, paired with the idea of group awareness, which enhances the feeling of belonging to a group. Moreover, as Bosweik et al. point out, dialogue is a fundamental part in the realisation and consumption of a meaningful experience. Dialogue means interactivity, being engaged with each other and listening to each other. Both parties intend to accomplish something. It also means that attention is given to the interests of both parties. I would flash mob to Boswick concept of meaningful experience. Let's start by pointing out that an experience can be interpreted as a form of behavior in which emotions play an extremely important role. Experiences occur in a process in which interactions take place in a certain setting between an individual and other people. In order to be considered meaningful, an experience has to have the following characteristics. The first one is there is a high-tended concentration and focus involving all one's senses. The next one is one's sense of time is altered. One is touched emotionally. The process is unique for individual and has intrinsic value. There is contact with the raw stuff, the real thing. One does something and undergoes something. There is a sense of playfulness, flow. One has a feeling of having control of the situation. There is the balance between the challenge and one's own capacities. And the last one, is there is a clear goal. According to Pine and Gilmore, an experience in order to be considered as rich has to incorporate four dimensions, which are defined by the authors as realms. Entertainment, education, escapism and aesthetics. Entertainment occurs when the audience passively absorbs the experience through their senses and their attention is occupied equitably through amusement. In this sense, we entertain the students with our speech and the drumming element, which can be interpreted as a performance. Education means that the guests absorb the events unfolding before them, involving, at the same time, the active participation of the individuals. In this sense, we educated the students about the event, involving their active participation through the handing out of the flyers. Scapism occurs when the audience is completely immersed in the experience. We offered escapism through the drumming element as well as the opportunities promised at the event. A static experience occurs when individuals immerse themselves in an event or environment but themselves have little or no effect on it, leaving the environment but not themselves essentially untouched. We brought this element to our flash mob through the flyers, the drumming and the information being written before their eyes. We also focused on the more sociological aspects of the flash mob. In order to enhance the concept of connectedness we had addressed before. First, we used our smart, casual clothing as a way to bring a professional air to our presentation, as well as stressing on the fact that we represent a business school. Then, through our dr drumming, we tried to gain the attention of the students in order to add a touch of mystery to the flash mob and the event itself so to stimulate their curiosity. The drumming also served to bring a tribal aspect to our flash mob, as well as to link it to the actual beating heart of LMBS event. We also wanted to enhance and emphasize the networking aspect of the event in order to appeal to the selfish side of the audience. After all, we're doing an MA for a reason, and we tried to exploit the student's desire for personal development. Through the handing out of the flyers, the writing on the board of the Facebook page, and the overall clear and relaxed speech, we aim to seem approachable and to connect with the students in a more direct way. Moreover, our flash mob can be interpreted as a performance, thus triggering a new kind of relationship with the students, a performance audience relationship. As Pine and Gilmore pointed out, any work a customer observes directly is an act of theater. In this sense, our flash mob and our work can be seen as a performance. However, in setting up our flash mob, we had to face a number of challenges, such as the difficulty of getting into classes in a relevant time. We didn't want to go in weeks before the event, 
thus running the risk of student f students forgetting about the event and the experience. But at the same time, we didn't want to leave it too late, so to allow the students to arrange, arrange their schedule in order to participate to the event. We also had to face a possible negative response from the classes. Because according to several studies, people change their behavior according to the behaviors of others in relation to what actually happens in the process of a challenging situation. If a cooperative behavior is required, and in our case it was the attention to our presentation and a positive response to it, and a minority ceases to cooperate, then the whole cooperative pattern breaks in a vicious circle of results because the needs of the individual conflict with the group strategy, thus creating tensions between the interests of the individual and the group. Finally, we thought about what we could have done differently. Our presentation offered absorption and passive participation. The immersion and active participation could have been improved by passing the drum around the class or by giving them more escapism. However, this may have compromised our emphasis on a more professional approach. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. Unfortunately, most of us are in China, uh, but Kirsten is here uh, should you have any questions.